Okay, in this video segment, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to separate elements of a imported vector file. In this case, I've imported my artwork for our logo, the Radiant Laser Systems logo, as a, a scalable vector file. I'm going to go ahead and select it, and what I want to do is I want to break it apart so I can apply different laser parameters to different sections of it. In this case, I'm going to apply pen 1 parameters to the Radiant, and I'm going to apply pen 3 parameters to the laser systems. So I've gone ahead, and, gone ahead and selected it. You can see it's, there's one element over here on the left that's populated. I'm going to go up to Edit, and I'm going to select Uncombine. And now notice that I've got all the different elements of my logo are populated over here on the left. So now notice that if I click on the different letters of my logo that they're all selectable now instead of just the whole thing being selectable. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and select the letters of Radian. I'm going to go to Edit, I'm going to hit Combine, I'm going to turn that into one element, and I'm going to do the same thing down here uh, with the laser systems. So I'm going to go ahead and select those, and hit Combine, and now notice I have two elements populated here over here on the left, and basically the radian, and then I have the laser, laser systems. So now I'm going to go to my hatching parameters, and I'm going to start with radian, and I'll select that. I'm going to go to the hatching parameters, and it can be anything really, but let's say for this case, I'm going to go ahead and set it at uh, 0, 0.5 millimeter hatching, and I'm going to use pen 1 uh, laser parameters. And when I hit apply now, you see that the radiant laser systems has turned black, and it basically took on the color of pen 1. Now, down on the bottom here, what I want to do is I'm going to select the parameters for, um, uh, I'm going to use laser parameters, pen 3 parameters. First thing I have to do is I've selected it, I go and I go ahead and say I'm going to hatch it. I'll set some random hatch here, 0 0.06 millimeters, and then I also am going to go ahead and select the uh, pen 3 laser, a uh, pen, a uh, pen 3, which is red. Now I hit apply, and notice that I've applied uh, the black parameters or pen 1 parameters to the radian, and I've applied pen 3 or the red parameters to the laser systems. Uh, and now, uh, both of these elements can be lased uh, with uh, different, different settings. So pen 1 settings obviously can be uh, whatever they are here. In this case, it's as you see it. And then pen 3, or the red parameters, I can make whatever changes I need to this uh, for the particular application that I'm, I'm trying to uh, accomplish or you know, the, the, the results I'm trying to achieve. So um, there you have it. That's how you break apart a vector file, uh, you recombine it into the segments you want, and then apply the different laser parameters to the different sections that you're uh, interested in applying them to. Okay, I hope this was helpful.